Hi everyone and welcome back. We're just about to head into Blazin Jr. Part 7. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And if you want full reactions to this and other things I have on my Patreon, then I will leave the link in the description box below. So they're going to have the talk right now. I'm surprised Dante didn't know though. The way it was edited made it seem like he did. Yeah, at least he's comfortable enough to say that he likes both. Yeah, I don't think that was a good decision. Like what? So then you just left without knowing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's the opposite. Yeah, he, he doesn't even have a fallback plan. Yeah, it's been hard for him. Junior's very up and down. For their friendship. At least he's getting his anger out. Oh, we're going to get this again, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's really, um... Sexual. So Junior kissed him. Yeah, you're correct. I didn't, mm, you haven't blown it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> then she just leaves. Oh, he's going to pretend to be Dante. <laughs> So she has literally no experience, like I said. She just looked at tutorials. Porque el chico que trabajaba acá le pidió a mi hermano que espere unos días 
antes de tomar otra persona. Y bueno, por ahora lo estoy reemplazando yo. Ah, ah, qué lástima porque de verdad necesitaba mucho el trabajo. Bueno, ya vas a conseguir algo mejor seguramente, ¿no? Yeah, what he's doing here is really wrong. Yeah, what you did there was really wrong. I bet he's seen that girl. I can't remember her name. What's this? Te vine a traer esto. ¿Qué es esto? Es tu uniforme de trabajo. ¿Cómo sabías que estaba acá? Porque vi tu dirección en la agenda de empleados y lo mandé. ¿Por qué haces esto? Porque no quiero que te vayas. No, no voy a volver al bar. Dale. Tanto te necesita, le estás costando mucho conseguir otra. He can find people, you just keep turning them away. Sí, pero esta chica es malísima, la tuve que reemplazar hoy no sabe servir ni un vaso de gaseos, en serio. Bueno, yo no he encontrado un reemplazo. No, a vos no te reemplaza nadie. Si no, no me la hagas más difícil, por favor. No sabes lo que me cuesta todo esto. Bueno, entonces no lo hagas, quédate, no te vayas. No puedo. Mira, yo te prometo que no me voy a confundir más. Bueno, eso es un lie. Que está confundido soy yo, señor. No sabes lo que me duele, pero eso sí. Junior, ¿qué haces acá? ¿Cómo le haces? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien. ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué haces por acá? No, 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 Oh, and she was watching. Simona. Bien. Seguro. Seguro por. No, cuando te vi discutiendo con tu hermano, siento como que te que te molesta un toque así lo de Blas que ella tenga un reemplazo y. Sí, me molesta y me enojé, pero como cualquier empleado me molesta. Sí, Blas no es cualquier empleado. No, peor es un mejor amigo. No te lo digo tanto como por la relación de tu hermano, sino que que por vos. Yo como lo que siento es que I'm actually really starting to like her character. She doesn't know how to explain herself well, but she's trying. Oh, you love him now? They're not best friends, I think they're a bit more than that. Well, that's because you were so listened at the door. 
sé que no estabas hablando con Chile, estabas hablando con alguien y no de Chile. Ahí. Estás hablando de Blas. Ahora, me parece un poco raro. Entonces me pregunto por qué es que te importa tanto Blas. Lo primero no me importa tanto, me importa lo mismo que a vos y a cualquiera. El segundo estaba hablando primero con Chipi y después me pasó con Aileen. Porque quería hablar de esto, porque lo veo medio perdido a Blas. Y me parece que a los dos les viene bien que estén en el bar. ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿Qué tienen? Nada. ¿Qué me estás hablando? ¿Solo estamos hablando o no estamos hablando? De eso más de... Hey, hey, ¿Qué pasa? Sí. Yeah, it's her up and down. Another person. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say he's literally dated all of them. Junior is very up and down. He's on a roller coaster of emotions. Even though he's not very good at hiding how he truly feels, everyone can read right through him. He has fallen quite quickly for Blaz. But it looks like Blaz is trying to move on. He wants to separate his feelings from not just work but his everyday life so he can figure out if he does like Junior and along the way he's having a bit of fun and he's not doing anything wrong and if he does want to date Aileen then he can but I guess with Junior you can tell how young he is this is finding yourself figuring out what you like he's dated all these girls it never worked Laz comes back and something clicks for him, something works. And it's a very confusing time for anyone trying to figure out who you like, what you like, what gender you like. But he's just got to let things go. If Laz doesn't want to be at the bar anymore, he doesn't have to be at the bar anymore. What he did to that girl was not okay. There could have been a situation where she needed that money because she could have been evicted from her house. She could have owed someone money. It could have been a situation where it could be very dangerous for her. And I know he just wants Blaz back, but he's going about it the wrong way. Now we've had another flashback, so technically we've had a few kisses for this show. I get the feeling Junior's just going to explode and end up kissing Blaz. And I don't know if someone's going to walk in on them, but Dante now knows something is going on. Because he's, he's eavesdropping, he's listening in. So I, I imagine the next around the next five episodes someone else is going to know and it's going to come out maybe not to everyone but usually when these things happen it happens it might be a bit of disagreement but eventually everyone is friends again especially in soap opera type shows everyone is sleeping with everyone Every, so, you know, someone's going to die someone is going to disappear someone's going to come back someone leaves someone dates again someone doesn't date again they break up it's a natural habitat of these shows I'm getting more and more invested in it. I do actually want to sit down and watch more, but because of the time frame of them, and obviously putting them on YouTube, you don't want to put too long of an episode, so I'm trying to cut these down even more, so they're more manageable. But I am really starting to enjoy it. I do want to see where it goes, but it also is giving me enough incentive to leave it a week, so that I have a week's gap, and then it refreshes my memory, and I'm like, okay, this is what's happening. Thank you for watching. That was part seven of Blaz and Junior, and I will be better. And I will be back next week with part eight.